This building was built in 1917, and at that time, Springfield was on fire. Court Square had Broadway shows, there were boathouses on the river, and employment was absolutely full in this community. But the rest of the world in 1917 was absolutely terrible. World War I was going on, there was drafts that were beginning in the United States, there were riots over race, race issues, there were riots over the labor issues, and there were even riots over the draft. And within all this, I think during that time period, Springfield was a city that you could point to and say, that's what we want America to be like, not what's going on in the rest of the country. And when I look at investing in this community, that's what I hope the rest of Massachusetts is like. Getting more uh, of an eclectic mix of the, the uh, millennials and, and baby boomers, empty nesters who want to come back to their core city, but especially teachers. We know it is so critically important um, that we have a thriving and effective public school system. And over several meetings with Dan Warwick, what we really came to identify as an area where we might be able to move the needle best um, was by helping to att attract and retain teachers here in the city. We know, research shows, that when we have very strong teachers, our kids thrive. Even kids coming out of tough circumstances, even kids that may have special challenges, thrive when they have the best and brightest teachers. Springfield used to be one of the, if not the leading city in the country, known for its educational and its school system. And we have every bit of the potential to bring that back. If we can take care of our teachers, there is nothing more important in our school system than our teachers. And this building is 60 units. And based on what we saw with UMass, we went out and invested in another building and another piece of property for the ability to do several hundred units. Because we think this building is going to be successful and we think this whole neighborhood is going to turn into something very valuable for the community. I've been in development for 34 years and I have never worked with a city like Springfield. And I've got to say, um, having developed a lot in, in Boston, in Connecticut, in Florida, in a lot of places, there's no place like Springfield.